Broadcasting from Park Avenue West, you're watching WMFD Television, Channel 68.1, Mans. This program discusses sensitive mental health issues, including suicide. Viewer discretion is advised. Maybe an hour after we got the message that we lost Danny, uh, Danny's sister said to us, you know, we were all crying, and she says, what do we do? What do we tell people? And I'm like, baby, we got to tell them the truth. This is nothing that can be hidden because otherwise the suicide will win. We're not mental health professionals. This is just something that happened to our family. We direct people other places. And most important of all, I think, don't quit. Keep fighting. Keep living. Things will get better. Good evening. We are Jeff and Donna Heck of 33 Forever, and we want to welcome you to Sparking the Conversation. Um, we are so excited to be able to bring you weekly half-hour messages and stories and resources that are surrounding mental health topics and the challenges people face. Our show's purpose and hope is to provide both information and inspiration, making conversation about mental health the norm. Aaron Schaefer is the Executive Vice President and Executive Director of Catalyst Life Services in Mansfield. She has a Master's in Marriage and Family Therapy from Pacific Lutheran University and a Master's in Marriage and Family Therapy and Counseling from the University of Akron. She oversees mental health services at the agency with an emphasis on systemic change. Aaron has worked in mental health for over 35 years and she's been with Catalyst for over 20. Aaron, welcome back to Sparking the Conversation, yes. I should say. You you joined us back when we were pretty new at doing this, back in, I think, June of, of 2020. Yeah. And we're glad to have you back mm -hmm. to uh, to talk about Catalyst and give us a little bit of an update. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yes. Thank, thanks for coming. We uh, just, I, I want to make sure, and I think most people in our community know about Catalyst, and obviously with the telethon and some other things that have happened recently, Maybe they know a lot about Catalyst, but for those who don't, could you just give us a brief overview of Catalyst Life Services and kind of what you do there? Sure. So Catalyst is obviously a behavioral health organization, and we have both adults and um, kids' mental health services, but we also have outpatient uh, drug and alcohol services for adults, and we have residential drug and alcohol treatment. We have, um, for women and men, two separate houses. And then we also have our withdrawal management facility, um, which is part of that New Beginnings um, residential treatment facility campus. And then we have a vocational department, which helps people get connected to jobs, and especially if they've been out of the workforce due to mm -hmm. um, perhaps they've been struggling with some substance use issues or mental health issues, then they can get reconnected with work. Um, we have Precise Services, which provides lawn care and, and janitorial, and then we have our Deaf Services and our Community Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, and then we also have Audiology, so it just goes on and it's, on. There's a lot there. It is yes. like everything anybody would need with yeah. a struggle. They try Catalyst first. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> yes. and there's lots of other things, you know, yeah. in there too, but I had to go through and I have to always think about all those things. Do you have well. classes for people who are going back into the workforce? Is that uh, after maybe again struggling for years and years with substance abuse? Do you, you know, are they optional to graduate like and come to the classes? And, or is it just helping them find positions? So they, there's several different programs that they have where they work with people. Um, they have a program called One Strike, You're Not Out, and so they help specifically with people who perhaps have been incarcerated and who are coming oh, back into okay. the community and they're re-entering the workforce. Um, at that population really struggles to find jobs yep. because there aren't a lot of people who necessarily um, are, eager, are eager to give jobs to people. But because our vocational services have partnered with so many different um, employers in our community yep. and because those employers know that they'll work and actually stay beside and support those those workers um, then then they know that they're going to get good employees from from those who are working with our vocational staff and so those kinds of programs are really helpful um, for people who are struggling. And so our, that's our supported employment um, staff yeah. who are providing a lot of those different kinds of services. Yeah, very interesting. And mm -hmm. I think it's important to note that uh, obviously some of the main things that we want to focus on tonight are obviously the behavioral health things, which include mental health services mm -hmm. and, your, and your substance use disorder services and some of those that you're talking about. But, but uh, 
Give us a little update. What what's new at Catalyst? What's going on? What are you excited about that's that's coming up? Uh, what kind of new services you have? Give us a little little uh, thumbnail sketch of, of, of <laughs> things going on at Catalyst these days. So we, I mean, we always stay busy. I always like to say that I want to work myself out of a job. I'd like to go and, you know, I would love for people to not need what we do, but unfortunately that's not the place that we're in, especially with the way the world has been over the last several years. Um, it seems that our services are just more needed. So we, last time I came in, I believe was in August, Yes. And that's when we were getting ready to open our urgent care. Yes. And our urgent care has been up and running now for a good six months. Wonderful. And it has been going really strong. And we've had um, quite a few people come through. Um, I believe last count we had over 500 people who have Wonderful. come through Amazing. in this time period. Were, were any of those or many of those people new faces and Voices and I'm always wow. amazed at how many people are new to us yes. who are people that we have never seen before. Mm -hmm. um, and so that has been really, I think, one of the, the things that's been the most shocking. We always have new people who are coming through, but the amount of people who are coming in who have never been to us before yeah. has really been an interesting thing to see um, that we're having newer people who are coming in. And sometimes we're not the right fit for them. They'll come in for urgent care, but we are not the right place for them to receive services. Mm -hmm. So we really do connect them with um, all of the other partners that we have throughout the community as well. I think it's important to talk more about these urgent care services so people really understand what's going on and, and how it's kind of developed. But we're at that time where we need to take our first break. So we'll be back here on Sparking the Conversation in just a minute. Catalyst Life Services, a comprehensive behavioral health organization, has been serving the community for 70 years. Our wide array of wraparound services and our ability to treat the whole person is what sets us apart. It's everything you need in one place. Mental health, crisis, detox and addiction services, case management, and peer recovery support. We even offer vocational programming to get you back to work. Catalyst Life Services. Call today and get the help you need. If you've been injured, whether personal injury, medical malpractice, or wrongful death, you are not alone. And you definitely don't have to fight alone. While you focus on recovery, let the Heck Law Offices focus on your case. With over 45 years of combined legal experience, we understand your situation and the entire overwhelming legal process. With an injury, you're already handling too much. Let our team be your advocate. I'm Jeff Heck. And I'm Jeff Stifler. We're, We're Mansfield's, Mansfield's injury, injury Lawyers. Lawyers. Call us today or visit us at hecklawoffices.com. Even though this community has changed over the last 75 years, Mansfield Motor Group's loyalty and dedication hasn't. The people of this community are the backbone of our business. And for over 75 years, we've been privileged to serve our customers with honesty, integrity, and trust. This community is all about the principle of hard work, coming together, and persevering through hard times. And even though times have been tough in the auto industry, you can trust that we won't charge over MSRP because that's not the ethical way of doing business. What we will do is commit to being competitive with anyone, and we will never lose a deal over price. In addition, you can continue to build incentives to our MMG Rewards Club. For over 75 years and four generations, we've treated our customers like family because that's what they are to us family. Mansfield Motor Group, 75 years of delivering automotive excellence to our community. This program discusses sensitive mental health issues, including suicide. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back. We're here on Sparking the Conversation with Aaron Schaefer of Catalyst Life Services. And we were talking about your urgent care that has just really made an impact on our community. What are the um, medical criteria that people should come to see you for? And then maybe give an, um, us an update on the hours and, uh, um, and anything else they would need to know if they were coming to see you. So our urgent care is it's basically for people who are just really anybody who's in need. So it's not a it's not a medical urgent care like you would see out in the community for, you know, oh, I 
my arm hurts or, you know, I might mm -hmm. need, um, I think I have a bad cold or that kind of a thing. But it's really for people who are, have never been involved in services before and they're looking to get connected to services, then this is the great first step to come in mm -hmm. through the door. Um, it's also a place for people who perhaps need somebody to talk to. Yep. We've had some people who have come in who have... They might be clients of ours, they might not be clients of ours. And it could be that they have another appointment and they just can't make it to whenever that next appointment is. Um, so then they can come into urgent care and there's somebody there for them to talk to. So it's really for that extra support. Um, there have been some really specific situations that I can't discuss that would help you to understand, right. um, but it would be too much identifying information. Right. Uh, but really there's people who are not necessarily at that criteria of being in crisis to the point where they really need to be hospitalized or mm -hmm. that kind of a thing, but they're really in distress where they really need somebody to talk to. If you can think about just a moment in your life where you know, perhaps you have had just something that's been distressing that's occurred um, and you just need somebody to talk to, mm -hmm. then th those are the kinds of situations where people have come in. And then sometimes that's been enough. Yeah. Sometimes they've been referred on for ongoing services, um, but it's really been helpful for people to just literally be able to walk in the door and, and I, find a place to go. Yeah, and I think, Erin, the thing you said, which is important, I think, for our audience to understand is there's a difference between the surgeon care, behavioral health urgen care, and emergency care when you sure. really truly are having a psychiatric or a, a medical mental Life health emergency. Yes. Right. And that's where you need to go to the emergency room, for example, and, and have that kind of treatment. And then we're going to talk about some of the crisis services I know that you all uh, provide too to help with that transition of, of the, the difference between urgent and emergent, if mm -hmm. you will. Mm -hmm. But what are the hours and, and when could somebody come and where would they come to get those urgent care services we've been talking about? So our urgent care is located in our center building, which is at 741 Shoal Road. And our hours currently are Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We are, right now we're having it on Saturdays, but starting in March, we're not gonna have the Saturday hours anymore. Okay. Just because we aren't seeing the, the we aren't need. seeing the need mm -hmm. quite yeah. at the level that um, that we would expect mm -hmm. or want to keep open. So at this point, we're going to have Tuesdays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays from 8 to 4, and then on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So evening okay. hours, too, for absolutely. folks who need it absolutely. after work, for example. Yep. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. And, and if for some reason we find that people who might have come on a Saturday, if we find that we have more people coming in on those Wednesdays and Thursdays, we'll absolutely add another evening right. if we need to. And just for those who don't know where the center building is or where that part of Shoal Road is, it's behind the Mansfield area. Why? It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that circle complex mm -hmm. back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. And if I had a child that was, I noticed, was struggling in school and, and um, you know, they weren't eating well and you could just tell it was something was bothering them, had, I'd have no idea what was going on and instead of them bringing them to a doctor and if I was concerned, you know, they're just not eating, they're not themselves, they're staying in their room, they seem low, would you be a place where we should take them or do you recommend waiting to get into their primary, uh, to their pediatrician? So you can absolutely bring them into urgent care. It mm -hmm. never hurts to have something like that because mm -hmm. uh, we are definitely a resource for that mm -hmm. to be able to talk about that. One of the things that we know about symptoms like depression is that even doing an intervention like having somebody to talk to um, can be just as effective as taking medication, you know, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. And yep. so it's really beneficial for kids to have somebody to talk to and to do some of that talk therapy because that at least gives you somebody who can go through and do a diagnosis and really ask those questions and find out, you know, is this just they're going through a funk yeah. or is there something more going on? Yep. So it's really important to have another set of eyes to really find out more of what might be happening. And I think an important point you just made, and Donna's question yeah. brings it up, is that the urgent care uh, treatment, urgent care option that you have there is for adults and for kids. Yeah. And what do you need to bring with you if you're coming to the urgent care? I mean, how the people worry about payment and things like that. How's that work, Karen? So all we ask is if people can bring, if, if it's obviously if it's a child, you don't have to do that, but if they can just bring a photo ID if they mm -hmm. have one. I mean, if you don't, we'll, we'll work it out. Um, and then if they have a proof of income, 
then mm -hmm. that's helpful too. And if they have any kind of insurance, to just bring their insurance card. So you really don't have to bring a whole lot with you, um, just what you would bring normally to any kind of an appointment like that, and we'll take it from there. I mean, the goal really is to, our goal is not to stop people from getting help, our goal is to help people get help. Yep. Um, and even if people do walk in and, and they think maybe they're not in crisis and as we're talking to them we find out they are, we'll, we'll deal with that at the same time. So we don't any, want, ever want anybody not to come in because they think, well, I probably shouldn't go there. Just yeah. come in and yeah. we'll... That's, we'll get you taken care of. That's a wonderful service for our community. And when we get back, we're going to take a break, but I'd like to talk about your telethon. So stay tuned. We're going to uh, have a few messages, and we'll be back on Sparking. No one kind of likes a filet of fish It's an all or nothing sandwich. That's why we never see one half eaten. Get two delicious filet of fish sandwiches for just $6. Only at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The need for mental health and addiction services is on the rise. To meet this need, Catalyst Life Services has opened a behavioral health urgent care. Access mental health care when you need it without an appointment. The urgent care is available Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Wednesday and Thursday. Located at 741 Shoal Road in Mansfield. It's the help you need when you need it. Happy anniversary, Mix 106.1. This year we are celebrating 60 years of Mansfield's best mix. Mix 106.1, and it's all thanks to you. When we shop local, our community thrives, and so do our favorite businesses. So let's shop local first. Thanks for your continued support. Here's to another 60 years of shopping local first. Hello, I'm Mike Mandel, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. For a limited time, you can get a premium MyPillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Sorry about that. No, no, I've been staying at my dad's place because of everything. Where are we going? Navigating these times can be tough, but while you care for your loved one, you also need to care for yourself. Go to aarp.org slash caregiving for free mental health and self-help tips. Welcome back to Sparking the Conversation. We're here tonight with Aaron Schaefer of Catalyst Life Services here in Mansfield, and Aaron's been talking about a lot of their different services, but before we... Uh, before we broke off, Donna mentioned the, the telethon, the Catalyst Life Services telethon yes. that happened in early February. And uh, you guys had an amazing event, as always. Yes. But tell us how things went and, and uh, kind of where you ended up or, or where you are so far, I guess. Maybe that's a better way to say it. So I just got the latest total right now from um, our marketing director, Melissa Drazda. And the total right now is $121,291.98. Wow, that's incredible! Yeah, what a day! That's... What a day that is, and what and what an event! I mean, the, the the quality of the event that you guys put on year after year after year is it's really just it's a testament to what this station does. It's a testament to what Catalyst and all your volunteers do, but it's also a real testament to to me to our community because yep. of the support that this community always steps up and gives. Yeah. Well, and for me, it was such a pleasure to be able to do the phone bank and to take the calls. I took a call from one Jeff Heck. I remember, Hi, yes. I remember that <laughs> Just well. being able to answer those and to hear the people who were calling in and making the pledges and the donations, it's, it's really heartwarming. You know, some people are people who have benefited from the services, other people who are former staff, other people who have just, you know, maybe been on the board, just, it really yeah. is, like you say, really a community yeah. event because yeah. so many people feel connected to it. So yeah, it's special. really neat. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's going to all all that money that's coming in is going to go back out into the community to help serve others, and it is a, a beautiful job that you guys did. And did that twenty five hundred dollars matching uh, come in yet? For I know it did. Good. It did. Yes, I was following that. Yes. So. Yes, which yes. is really great. Yes. It's really yeah. fun. Wonderful. Well, one of the things that uh, we also wanted to talk about, and we referenced earlier, was. And I think it's important for the for our viewers to know is the crisis services that you have going from from one positive thing to maybe not a positive thing all the time. But, but at least it's, it's there. It yes. is, and it's a really important yes. part of what you guys do. Could you describe maybe the crisis services that you provide for mental health? So our crisis services are 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're for both adults and kids. So we have staff who are trained to deal with kids and to help them through their crisis situations, and then also staff who are trained to um, help adults through crisis situations. And so that all runs through our helpline, which is the, the 522 help number. And that, again, 24-7, you can call that number, mm -hmm. and people will answer the phones and then help assess what's going on and get you connected to um, whatever might be necessary to help through what's happening. And that's really throughout Richland County, right? Yes, throughout yeah. Richland County. Great. And so, again, you know, we, th it's, it is, it's kind of a double-edged sword because it's like, oh, we don't want people to be in crisis, but... The good thing is I've seen people when they've come through those crises and actually just today at the agency, I had a gentleman who, um, man, I'm going to try not to cry when I talk about this situation, but I, I actually met this man when he first came to our community um, back in 2017 and he was in serious crisis and he now has been here for five years and he is much better than when I saw him. And so it's really heartwarming to see him and yeah. to recognize how far he's come in those five years. And he still has struggles, but if if we didn't have those crisis services, then I, I truly don't know where he would be. So it's really been important for him. Yeah, yeah. the spiral could have been just down and down and down in the rabbit hole as opposed to pulling him up. Absolutely. Well, and I Absolutely. think that's really one of the things that we can say is such an asset to our community. And that's one of those, even we like to leave with a positive message, mm -hmm. but I know that's really a, an amazing story. And, and one that shows you the value of having that right here in our community local, which a lot of communities do not have, right? Absolutely, yeah. and there are lots of people who I know talk about, I know Joe Trollian always talks about, you know, how as a community we really have a, a, a wide breadth of, of services. Yes. And we really are lucky to have as many resources as we have and really try to be as creative with stretching those as much as we can. Like those $121,000 are gonna stretch really, really far. Yes. Um, because we know how important those are, not just for, the community has given those to us, and so we wanna be good stewards of what we've been given and Absolutely. make sure that it's, it's used to the best of our ability. Before we go for the evening, I wanna tell people, go look at all the Catalyst Life Services, uh, services that are on the website. And I know the website's been on the screen too. But please check that out and, and uh, know more about Catalyst Life Services and everything it offers our community. Erin, we got to go. Uh, we're going to be back in a minute with our memory moment. But Erin Schaefer, thank you so much for being a part of our show tonight. Yeah, thank and thank you. you for what you've done for our community. You are truly an asset, and we're so grateful to have you here. Thank you for having me. We'll be back in a minute. Enjoy the benefits of soft water with the largest in-stock selection of water softeners at Menards. Morton's Demand Control Wi-Fi Water Softener is a smarter way to manage your water. Integrated Wi-Fi capabilities allow you to monitor your salt levels and water usage from your smartphone at home or away. Plus, Morton's Look Ahead technology learns and predicts your water needs, saving you money. Get 11% off everything, including Morton Water Softeners, now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I'm sorry that I didn't know what to look for, Pops. It's not a cry for attention. If only he had accepted help. If he only knew how many lives he had touched. How much we would miss him. How much her friends and family loved her. The hard work you put in now will pay off. You don't really know what you're going to be in the future. You could be the next doctor, the next psychiatrist that helps those children understand their mental health issues.
Are you worried about staying dry for your summer event? Arise Tents and Events caters to the most important events your family will celebrate. Graduation parties, weddings, or backyard barbecues. They have over 100 tents to choose from, along with tables, chairs, linens, and accessories. A family-owned business whose goal is to help you build a memorable event. For more information, visit AriseTentsAndEvents.com or call 330-852-7000 in Sugar Creek. Welcome back to Sparking the Conversation, and we are at today's memory moment. And this memory moment is just a little bit of information that we'd like to give you. Um, every year, uh, and this is our third year, we have put together a scholarship in honor of Danny. Right. It's the 33 Forever Scholarship in honor of Danielle Leedy, and uh, it is a, we, we actually have four scholarships now that we, we give do. away in the amount of $1,333. Yep, we're gonna be giving away one to Lexington, uh, one to Richland County, so it can incorporate anybody in Richland County, mm -hmm. to um, Ontario High School, and our daughter and one of the board members lives in Pickaway County, so we're also gonna be doing one there. Uh, the, it's a very easy process, and we would just love to have you send in your application, and Jeff will give information on how to do that. Obviously, it's for a, a graduating high school senior in one of those schools, and uh, you can see on the screen the, the link to the scholarship application, and there's an application on there. It's an online application you go to. Uh, it, it, the qualifications are a little different than a lot of scholarships. There's really no, there's no financial need that's involved in this yeah. at all, so anybody can qualify for it, and we only require a 2.0 grade point average or above. And so, that's something that, that if you guys are passing this around, because we've got it on our Instagram, our Facebook, make sure people know that, because so many people think that, oh, I'm not a brain, why should I even apply? And this yep. is definitely um, just a, a way for Danny to touch more in the community. And, and you'll see all the qualifications if you go to the website and you'll see specifically, one of the things that we want is we would like an essay or a short video mm -hmm. describing some challenge that you may have had as, as a student in your life or someone you know has had in their life. And so it doesn't just have to be about you, right. but it's, it's demonstrating resilience and some of the things that yeah. we think we really stand for and that Danny always stood for. Absolutely. Yes, right. she truly wanted to educate women and make their mental health stronger. Yep. And we just thought that this was a great way to uh, bless other people in the community, help them with school, and then just sharing a story of even if anybody in their their, their world, it's not even their little intimate world, right. just how mental health has affected them in their life. And, uh, and we will be uh, having a deadline of April 30th. April 1st. Oh, right. April 1st is our last date to get the scholarship application in, and you can get it in by email, yes. uh, by snail mail, or otherwise. And, and the again, the application, the online application is, is easy to fill out, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and gives all the details that you need, and then the essay and or the video. Yep. And a guidance high school transcript, that's and, all we need. And the guidance counselors have all the information as well. They do at all the schools here in Richland County. So... If you have a high school senior that you know or you're a high school senior watching, make sure you apply at the link that you see on the screen. And I think that's our memory moment yep, for tonight. So is. thanks for being with us tonight again, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Sparking the Conversation.